I wish I could see into the ground. Half a mile from the wash plant. So up here is where the ditches are? Yeah, you can really see the ditches from here. Detective Dodge hunts for a gully where gold may be concentrated. You said there's like seven miles of ditches on the property, huh? Seven miles of hand dug ditches, what we've Holy been told. Cow. Imagine digging through this, <laughs> these bigger rocks and stuff with yeah. a shovel. When old timers didn't have the water needed to mine gold, they dug ditches, sometimes many miles in length, to direct water to where it was needed. Well, the ditches are kind of like an indicator for you then up here. So yeah, that's a good clue that the old timers found the gold. They weren't going to ditch it to where the gold wasn't. Definitely. So follow their ditches. Well, get drone up, huh? Yeah, we'll send her up. If I wreck it, it'll be the third drone I've crashed. <laughs> Following clues left by the old timers, Freddie hopes a bird's eye view of the landscape will identify the channel they were chasing. There we go. So this is the channel across here? Right there is a channel running straight across. OK. And that's then, this channel right here? Then? Right here. OK. Yeah. I didn't know this valley was here. But if a glacier it came through here and reconcentrated that material, it might be something really good to look at. You yeah. can see a big glacier was in here. Yeah. That might be something cool. There is a distinctive channel all the way across this hill that leads up to a valley over here. When the ice was in here, probably had it dammed up on both sides, looking at it on that drone, and water would have came across this hill and maybe reconcentrated some of this loose material up here. Kind of nature sluice box up on top of the hill. Freddie's theory? A glacier laden with nuggets, snatched from veins in the mountain, forced its way down the valley. A second glacier collided with the first, slowing down and eventually melting. The meltwater reconcentrated the gold-bearing material into an ancient channel, which should be a gold-rich pastry. Half a mile from where the Paradis brothers are mining, Nice. <laughs> Still in one piece. Well, I've got one idea. I'll talk to Juan about it and see what he says, and maybe we'll have a look at it. Well, we only have a limited amount of time here. Looking around with Freddie and having a look at this channel and seeing him get excited is exciting for me, right? And uh, you know, brings the confidence up a little bit that it might be a really good spot to go prospect. get back in here and see what goes on. Only a day before the final test run. I'll continue prospecting if you want to keep. Yeah, I'll keep on working on that plant. Yep. Spray bars and all that stuff. We've got to help them with their gold recovery, but unless they have gold to recover, that means nothing. Well, I know there's gold here. It's just a matter of finding where it's got reconcentrated. Yeah, yeah. We can get the traco. Yeah. Get in there and punch some holes. If we can find some color, I'll be happy. Let's get in there and see what we can't do. So I'll work my way in there and move some trees out of the way a little bit. Freddy's narrowed down the hunt for a new pastry to an area half a mile up the mountain from where the brothers are currently mining. I like this spot right here. Let's do it. Let's see what lives here. Okay. Well, we'll just punch a hole here. You know, it's a good looking spot. We've got a hill here. It's a lower area here. So if water did run through here at one time to reconcentrate material, this is a nice looking spot for it definitely got potential, whether or not it's got gold or not. We won't know for a bit. Freddie looks for rounded river rocks. If the water ran through here, 
it would have concentrated the gold into a gold-rich pastry. It's not good. This is all just glacial sand right here. I mean, there's probably a little bit of gold in it, but not very much. Down about, what, five, six feet, starting to get into more gravelly stuff. Starting to get into some bigger rocks, huh? Yeah, that one was pretty well rounded. That bucket's looking better, huh? Probably getting close here. That looks like bedrock down there, maybe. Swing her over to the side here, would you, Les? Have a look at some of it. I like this. Yeah, it looks like a, a decomposed bedrock there, Les. I'm gonna grab some of this material in the bucket. We can go pan it. Let's see if there's any color in it. Let's go right here, huh? The moment of truth. Yeah. Fingers crossed. There's some heavies in it. That's a good sign. So we got 13, 15 colors. So that's better than a swift kick in the butt. Something, right? Yeah. Phenomenal. It's 30 mesh gold. It's very catchable, though, that size. Well, that's a good sign, if nothing. I'm yep. happy with it. Yeah, me yeah. as well. Anytime you find gold. Oh, that's right. Found some. Let's do another pan. Feels great. Check her out. The proof's in the pudding, right? There was gold in every pan. They're gone better gold. We can run a second test here. They've got a lot of material to run in the future. The hole we're digging, you know, could potentially be the future of the mine. We found some color in there. It's pretty exciting. 